Hi guys, T here, back for another update vlog. It's been a couple of months now, and uh, quite a few episodes of D&D stories without me around. I thought I'd poke my head in and say hi and show you I was still alive. Uh, I just got back from a nice long weekend out at the family cabin. Apparently everybody in Minnesota uh, has a family cabin, so I married into a Minnesota family, so now I have a family cabin. I don't... <laughs> So we were there for uh, for a couple of days, and then on the way home, my car decided that everything was wrong with it, and we blew out a tire uh, about 30 minutes from home on a four-hour drive, so that was fun. Um, so, yeah, all my tires are bald and need to be replaced. The rotors are bent. The tires need to be realigned. It needs... An oil change, a new air filter, all at the same time. All the little blinky lights just came on all at once. My god. <laughs> Great way to end a vacation, let me tell you. Um, what else is going on? Uh, as far as the channel goes, I wanted to stop and, and kind of update you guys uh, as far as what's happening when. Um, Shield Maiden has been going pretty well uh, lately. I think we're up to part 5 now, so part 6... Uh, should be up within the week, I think. I was trying to get it down in, in like, July, so I could do, like, one per month, but I'm not sure. It might slide a little bit. Um, I am planning to do 12 parts, and, like I said, this will be part six, so I hope you guys are liking it. I'm really enjoying it, so it's just a little passion project. Um, what else? I'd like to start a new, like, little mini-series to run alongside D&D stories. I'm still coming back after episode 125, don't worry. But I wanted to do, like, a little side thing that also had to do with tabletop games called Let's Talk Tabletop, in which I would just, like, pick a topic or pick a book or something and sit and talk about it. Just really casual, really nothing, like, no bells and whistles. Just the usual kind of Tony sits and talks to the camera for a while. So if there's a topic you want me to talk about, like boss fights or traps or a certain feat or or a, a certain monster, you know, why is this working? What this isn't working? What do you think of? You know, how do I balance treasure, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. If there's like a tabletop game uh, topic that you would like me to talk about, put that in the comments below, and I'll add it to the list, and we'll talk about it. Okay. It's a good way to get discussion going, it's a good way to get the comments talking to each other, it's a good way to kind of knit the community um, without it being like too much strain on me to go video for video, doing research and putting up pictures and stuff. Just a chat, just something casual. Let's talk tabletop. I thought that'd be a neat idea. Um, also, I'm thinking of doing uh, an Ask Me Anything. Uh, I know all the all the cool people do it, all the big YouTubers do it. I used to do mailbags all the time, but people just kind of fell out of love with that. So, you know, now that we've got more than 15,000 subscribers, maybe you guys can fill in some questions and I can answer them for you. You can ask me whatever you want. And again, put them in the comments below and I'll answer everything you guys ask for. Uh, I'll probably do it within the next week or so. So, say, like, August 5th uh 2019 to to do and ask me anything I'll, I'll try and do it on that day but that'll give everybody like a week to submit their questions or for me to gather them all up and uh, stuff like that and don't be scared to put them on the D, &D stories facebook or send me a private message or, or put them in the comments wherever you like just uh i, I want to reconnect with my audience i know i'm supposed to be on break right now but i'm getting kind of antsy i want to do something youtube related so Maybe I'm done resting, I don't know, but, you know, Rob still has, I think, seven episodes to go, six episodes to go. He's going up to 125, so, um, we won't, I'm not going to spam through them just to get them done and to get me back in the spotlight. I just want to do something YouTube-related, uh, to kind of get back on my feet, get back to talking to you guys, etc., etc., um... I think that was pretty much it. Shield Maiden, Let's Talk Tabletop, Ask Me Anything, The Cabin Trip. Um, 
not a lot going on right now. Like I told you before, I'm resting. I've been reading uh, Saga. I'm up to like episode or uh, volume seven now, and there's only nine volumes. And I've been, I gave uh, Final Fantasy XIV another chance, and I, I think I understand now, because I was super not impressed with it, because, like, the first, the first, like, few hours is like, deliver this mail, pick up these flower leaves, you know, deliver this pie, talk to this person, shoot that target, and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? And I, I, I think I get it now. It's a much slower burn than I'm used to. It doesn't start epic. It doesn't start with anything exciting. It really does want you to be like a country bumpkin out in the middle of nowhere and very slowly work your way up. So I've got like a, like a level, what is it, 10, level 11 uh, archer who's working his way towards bard. And I'm just slowly experiencing this because I don't have a lot of time for MMOs as I used to. But um, Bethesda, or not Bethesda, uh, Blizzard has failed me for the last time. So I am turning towards, um, what's Sony? No. I don't know who makes fun of Square Enix. God. See how bad I am with companies. They all just kind of blur together. But a lot of the big boys here in America and around are uh, just kind of shitting the bed right now. Bethesda, Blizzard, Activision, Ubisoft. They're all just, my god. Meanwhile, CD Projekt Red has never looked more wonderful and Square Enix has never looked better. I hear the new expansion Shadow, Shadow Form, Shadow Bringers, whatever, that just came out has been doing really well, so... Eh, who knows? Maybe I'll become a Final Fantasy XIV kind of guy. Um, what else have I been up to? I've been writing a lot. Like, a lot more than I usually do, which makes me happy. I've been setting aside time to sit and just type. You know, do a thousand words, do five thousand words a day, and not worry about, about anything, really. And... I think that's kind of it. My, my life's kind of boring right now. The only thing I'm worried about is my freaking car, because God knows it would tell me uh, everything is wrong. You just went on that three-hour trip to the cabin, and on the three-hour trip back, now everything is wrong. Fuck you. <laughs> um, what else have I been up to? I usually plug somebody in one of these. Oh. I discovered a, another YouTube channel that I really, really like, that anybody that's into writing or, or uh, Game of Thrones or Harry Potter or any kind of mythology from the different pantheons of religion, there's this uh, channel called Tail Foundry, and I'll put them, I'll put them up like right here-ish, that has a unique art style and a great host and... They've got this, like, meta story that's going on in the background while they're talking about Kiltish lore. Now we're going to talk about Game of Thrones. Now we're going to talk about Harry Potter. Now we're going to talk about what makes for uh, a good Lovecraftian horror. Now let's talk about that manga artist that's doing some of the most famous, you know, freaking horror stuff. Uh, I think his name was Ito. Something Ito. Uh, who's doing the most famous horror manga in the world right now. And why it's awesome compared to these others and stuff like that. It's a lot of literature stuff. A lot of what makes mythology so good. All the techniques behind the most, the biggest and most famous stories that are out there right now. And it goes into like philosophy for Westworld and um, Lovecraft and a whole bunch of other cool stuff like that. So... I'm plugging for Tail Foundry. You guys need to start at their first video and work your way forward because, my God, are these people talented. I think it's a team of four. A team of three or a team of four. But they only put out, like, two, maybe four videos a month, but they're really, really good. So you should check them out. Um, but I think that's everything so far. So, hey, Shield Maiden... Uh, Put me down and ask me anything question in the comments. If you want to do uh, a Let's Talk Tabletop with me, put a question or put a topic in the comments below, all that kind of stuff. So like and subscribe and all that other YouTuber garbage. I'll see you guys later. Keep gaming!